Thank you very much. Battled all the way today, really. You've got to be proud of the side. Yeah, look, today was always going to be very difficult. Um, without sounding very defeatist, I'd all, almost made peace with it at the beginning. Um, we wanted a good performance today. We wanted to try and come out with some belief and confidence for the final five games. I know the scoreline um, suggests, and they were the dominant team. Of course they were. They were better and they thoroughly deserved it. They were amazing. Um, we, yeah, we did. We, we stayed in the game as long as we could. We knew we were going to be forced low today. Uh, we wanted to try and be aggressive and even in the first minute we tried and then <laughs> Harland threw one-on-one. -on -one. Then he knocks Hashi out with the first goal and you're thinking, wow, there's one of our few defenders that are left knocked out on the floor and they're one nil down after a minute. <laughs> what a start that is. <laughs> it's tough. Um, Hashi managed to battle on and get up. Look, yeah, I'm proud of the lads. They gave us everything. Today was never going to sort of knock us, derail us or anything like that. I've wiped it as soon as I walked into the change room after the players. They were disappointed, of course, where no one likes losing and no one likes losing 5-1. But let's be realistic. They're a brilliant football team. They're way ahead of us at the moment. Our back four consisted of one centre-back, one full-back and two wingers. It's always going to be difficult against that level of opposition. I guess the start was the last thing you wanted, wasn't it? I mean, especially the unluckiness of it. Because that shot was going wide, wasn't it? <laughs> shot was going wide, yeah. Yeah, it was obviously a tough start. But then we gathered ourselves and stayed in it. You know, stayed in it. When they get the second goal, was it just after the hour mark or something like that? So we were still in the game. We kept going and I've got to give the players credit for that. We had moments, Corley in the bar and obviously Ross scored from a high press situation but we didn't get many moments today they were brilliant they suffocated us they controlled the game and uh, it was yeah it was a it was a long it was a long day for us today first off they could have run away though couldn't they but you did be able to stay in it at the half time I mean uh, defending was, was tough. yeah and we knew we needed to you know so all our work this week is the majority the vast majority has been out of possession we've obviously not been able to work with the full team because we've not had you know everyone fit and available so that that was a challenge but no excuse at all um, but a lot of our work has obviously been out of possession that's what it's going to be they force pretty much everyone back and low, don't they? Um, and um, yeah, they're, they're, they're a brilliant team that's so hard to play against. And yeah, the players, as I say, the players gave everything, blocked things, defended well. Thomas had to make saves, ride our luck a few times. But um, yeah, it, you know, it's, it's, I'm sort of glad it's done now. The threat as well, didn't you? I mean, Cody hits the bar and then Ross gives the way. Yeah, two 0 Obviously, Corley hit the bar. Three 0 We kept going and got a good, you know, nice high press regain. Ross with a really good goal. Um, and they, they, but they wore us down. You know, they, they wore us down. They shift us from side to side, side to side, looking for those spaces. One or two gaps opened up. They get Doku in a bigger space, running at Fred. And Fred, bless him, like you know, he's given us everything. But that's the level jump from where he's been playing this season earlier in the season at Rotherham to this he's played at Arsenal and City you know it's 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 a huge jump and he's getting tired by that moment brilliant goal from Doku um, they scored some fantastic goals didn't they as well but yeah they, they wore us down in the end and got those 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 goals later on which obviously made it look worse but um, I'm not saying he didn't deserve them because the performance from them was was obviously excellent and made it a long afternoon for us Oh, the nicest one's out the way now and you can focus on the, on the final five games. That's what we said to the players. You know, hopefully we get some bodies back. We're going to need them for the running. Now we go into five games where we, we believe we can. I'm not saying we're going to win all the games. Of course I'm not, but I'm saying we can win. We can get results. Um, so there was stuff out there we got wrong. There was lots there to like. The character, the, the defending at times, the goal was good. The... The, the lads tried. They tried to do the right thing. City were just too good for us. They were just too good. Have some words for the end, or so you had a... Yeah, I'm gonna go just to go and go and see him afterwards, which would be which would be really good. That'd be nice. Hello. Uh, long day, you say. Um, looking at the Premier League in general, though, you face City, Arsenal, Liverpool. Who do you think has the advantage in this? It's hard to say. After we played Arsenal, I thought they were good, and then we played them, and they're pretty good as well. And Liverpool weren't bad either at Anfield. The, the three away games we played, they've all been brilliant. You know, um, today, today was the hardest game we've had all season. It would have been. I, I, I haven't seen the stats, but it, it felt like the game was in our final third on it, like the whole time. And we we haven't had that against anyone else really. Maybe earlier in the season when we were playing slightly differently, they forced us so low and we couldn't get out. Um, um, yeah, they were excellent, but all, all three of them are so strong. 
and I want to show respect to all three of them as well because I've got yeah, I, the, all three of their managers have been very respectful to us and they've been very kind and I'm not going to say oh, I think one is better than the other I think that three amazing teams that uh, are obviously ahead of us at the moment Yeah, hi Rob. You said Hashioka was it was knocked out there by the the Harlem. No, I was just, no, I was just just lying. He was just lying flat out, wasn't he? I don't. I was sort of saying that in jest, but just I was worried that he was. So yeah, so how did the conversation go then in terms of? Like... Oh, he was all right. He just got up then, and I thought, oh, thank goodness for that. Otherwise, we'd have been putting a, I don't know, centre forward at centre back or something like that. The rest of the game. Yeah, I don't, there's no concussion or anything no, no, no. like that. It's just obviously floored by it. That's the only... Rob, just. I know obviously a long day in the end, but that, that 60, 65 minutes where you really frustrated them, particularly after that early goal and it could have gone wrong for yeah. you early on. And then you sort of see the fans sort of reaction and how together you play. You must be very confident that these last five games, particularly when you look at your fixtures, three at home, that you can stay up. I mean, there's an unbelievable t togetherness in the team. There is, certainly. Today was never going to, like I say, it wasn't going to derail us, whatever happened. I'm glad we're out of it. Um, but, yeah, you're right. The, 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 the supporters have been incredible all season long. Home and away, they're all there, standing and behind the players and me. Um, and that is really special. And I don't think any other club really can say that they've done that home and away this season. And I know it's unique for us. It's our first year in the Premier League and hopefully we can have more. And it gives me belief. The fact that they're going, come on, we're with you. That's special. It really is. And that hope, I think that makes us unique in this fight that we're in at the moment. Um, and yeah, and, and the players, the staff, they give me that belief as well. Uh, we, we, know, uh, we know we're capable in the next five games. And as I said before, that's not saying that we're going to win them all, but we feel we can win enough games. We've got three home games we're at Kenilworth Road. I think it's difficult for any team, any team to come to. And um, yeah, we look forward to it. We're gonna, we're, we are up for this challenge. And I think we're going to get stronger in the next few weeks because we will get more bodies back. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Cheers.